We're talking to Grant Van Sale, Certified Financial Planner, and uh, we're taking your questions about saving for retirement. And we had a comment earlier on uh, from somebody who would like to remain anonymous, Grant, saying that they find it very difficult to save for retirement because the cost of living is plainly too high. And this is somebody who is middle-aged. What's your comment on that? Yeah, I, I can seriously sympathize with that. Um, however, when it comes to that retirement, if you want to retire at a later stage, you have to change your lifestyle. Uh, there's always ways to really look at your budget, prioritize your budget. So, for example, income, less necessity expenses, so your cars, your houses, and then whatever you got left, put away. Yeah. And then if you still got a little bit of extra, then start putting away for entertainment and that sort of stuff. But that should be the last straw when it comes to your budget, your entertainment and clothing and what. Retirement should seriously, from a priority perspective, take a, a higher level than all those other yeah. unnecessary expenses. Yeah, and especially for young people, we're talking about you know, things that obviously determine your status among your peers. Yeah. Uh, that of, They place a lot of pressure on you, but considering maybe living in a small apartment, driving a cheaper car, going out less, these are things that should uh, yeah. take a priority for you to think about, spending less. Um, let's talk to Tony right now, who's on the line. Tony, good morning. Good morning to Espresso and that financial guy. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's Grant. Tony, what is your question or your comment to Grant? Um, my comment is simple. It's called Easy Card. Whatever uh, store you go to, they give you the Easy Card. You just bring your ID mm -hmm. and your pay slip and they give you credit. Now, what happens is you walk around with about 20 Easy Cards and uh, you end up in more debt. If I can make a um, a statement or uh, recommendation. Yes. The post office has got a government savings bond of 8%. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to 8.5%. I'm not correct on that. Okay. I think it's 8%. You must go to the post office, open a simple savings account, and invest your money. Now, it's invested for five years. So if you say to yourself, this month I've got 1,000 rand, put it in there. It's invested for five years. Okay. It's tax free and it grows at eight percent a year. Well that's a very so interesting one. Thank you very much for that, Tony. So Grant, how about that? So uh, stopping getting these easy cards as Tony has just described them yeah. and then investing in something like a government bond at the post office. How's that? So I uh, hear sentiment. The problem I have with that sort of uh, investment as a young person is you got a number of years and inflation is going up. Yeah. At, at, inflation at the moment is sitting between 6 and 7%. That's we're really gonna eating away at that 8% yeah, quite a lot, right? Exactly. So, Quick little last note. If you don't start doing it now, saving for, your, for retirement, what is the biggest risk that you stand? So the biggest risk that you stand is that you're never going to be able to retire and you're going to have to carry on working for the rest of your life. My goodness. Uh, yeah. That is not a future that we all yeah. want to look forward to, You right? definitely don't want to get into that situation. No ways. Yeah, well, there you have it. Sir, yeah. thank you very, very much. Thanks, Keith. And I think that uh, was a very, very valuable conversation for us to be having and I hope that you definitely did take some notes from it. But right now, let's find out what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show with Leanne.